Ladies and gentlemen, today is the day. We're going to go harvesting now. It's not your normal harvesting. But man, it's uh, it's time. We're taking the uh, 8RT here. And we're going to go hook this up to the... Uh, I would call it a grain car, but it's not. It's it. just the wagon that we're going to harvest the potatoes with. Now again, we're going to start down where we uh, took those harvesters before. And work our way up to the fields actually right here. Um... But we're gonna, we're gonna take this uh, 8RT down there, hook it up to the cart, and uh, it's super early. It's like 6 a.m. right now. The uh, the other guys should be showing up here shortly, hopefully within the next half hour or so, and they're gonna meet actually at the uh, at the shop, and then they're gonna drive down, drive one of the service trucks down or whatnot, and uh, hopefully pick me up to bring me back because I got to grab a truck and trailer so that we can start trucking once uh, once we get to that point. So we got a little bit of a drive. Uh, I'm doing about 25 miles an hour right now. That's about what I can max out at with this. So we got a little bit of a drive and hopefully by the time I get there, they should be pulling in right behind me, uh, ready to bring me back so I can grab a truck and we can get started. That's the, uh, the game plan today. I also got a call uh, last night before I went to bed um, from Pioneer Seed saying that uh, they got most of our seed in. They're waiting for a couple more things, so they're going to you know, give me a call once it's all in, and then we can go pick that up uh, hopefully pretty soon. That way we can uh, store it. Like I said, uh, I... Prices are so outrageous right now, but they're only going up. So I, I figured we'll buy not all of our seed, but a majority of it and store it. That way we have it. So when the prices skyrocket and continue to skyrocket, um, we're kind of locked in at a lower price, a little bit more profit in our yield. So hopefully all that works out. And like I said, they're just waiting for a couple more, a uh, couple more pallets in and specify what it was, but. Yeah, so we'll, we'll have to go pick that up uh, once they call me again. But we're going to take this down. It's still probably 10, 15 minute drive here and uh, get to harvesting. All right, we're just pulling into where we uh, have everything parked. I just got off the phone. The uh, The guys are on their way. They got the pickup truck. And they also brought the uh, Thunder Creek uh, fill trailer. So that'll be nice in case we need to fill any of these guys up at all during the process, whatnot. So while they're on their way, I am going to back up to this bad boy and get her hooked up and ready to go. And then when they get here, um, we uh, they're going to take me back and then uh, come and get started while I grab a, a truck. So I'm going to make sure this is hooked up, ready to go. Uh, everything's unfolded and, and working properly. It looks like it is, but I'm just going to make sure of it. And then when they get here, like I said, we're going to go, uh, they're going to run me back and grab a truck and we'll, uh, we'll get going. We should be, uh, harvesting by probably seven o'clock at this point. So, uh, let's see here. If I hit this, there we go. Nice. Okay. All right. Everything's working. So yeah, we're going to, I'm going to wait for them and, uh, Get out of here. Go grab a truck. Get ready. Excited. All right, we're on our way back. This is actually the second truck. Now, what happened was uh, we got the, the the guys, Joey and uh, Dave, got down there. Um, as I said the other day, they're they're the longest two that have worked for my uncle. They're, they've used these harvesters before. So they're the ones doing all the harvesting, and I'm just kind of doing all the running around type deal. Um Anyways, they got down there and they're like, hey, why don't we just bring both trucks down? That way, if we get in a pickle and somehow you're running a little bit behind whatnot, we got both trucks, we can fill it and, you know, take a little bit of time off. So, um, and not have to stress about running trucks and emptying carts, so on and so forth. So I said, yeah, that's great. So uh, Dave brought one truck down. I'm bringing the other one right now. And they came back they should be getting started yeah there's one right there i don't know which one's which but there's one there and there's the other one going right there so uh we're gonna park this up we'll get in the uh the tractor and uh 
get uh, get the cart ready. They won't need us for a few minutes, but uh, once they're ready, both of them are probably going to need us. It looks like they're pretty even on that uh, uh, field. So we're going to find a place uh, kind of out of the way here. The other one is parked right there. So we can probably uh, let's just stay it here for now i guess kind of out of the way i think that's gonna be the best bet yeah we're just gonna leave them running with the parking brakes on because uh we're gonna be moving them quite a bit and starting and stopping them is not ideal so we're gonna hop in here and uh wait for them probably go up to uh uh, up to the field approach here and uh, get situated, but we're gonna go wait for them to call us and uh, when they're ready and uh, it shouldn't be too long All right, they're already getting full it sounds like so we're gonna head over um, This is uh, Joey right here. He's the one that's closest to us um, Dave on the other side of the field. He's actually getting fuller, but by the time we get over there and come back uh, Joey's gonna be completely full so um we're just gonna empty him while we're here let him kind of get situated and get him on these uh these rows that he's doing i guess they're having a specifically on on the far end having a uh dave's having a little bit of an issue not really an issue but just squaring things up and whatnot he's probably gonna have to backtrack he said so that's he, he's gonna take a little bit longer than uh um Dave here to get going. So we're gonna park up side here. I set our uh, cruise control to the same speed. Let him finish unloading. I'll back out of his way. Okay. We're gonna run over to the other side. Now we kind of have to go around. I, they didn't cut me a road in the center, unfortunately. Um, so we do have to go around. They said it was going to be a little bit of a pain if we, if they cut a road, so, which is all right. Um, that's okay. We can, we can live with that. We're going to go around and catch up with, uh, Dave over here. Set our speed. That way we're going to come up right beside him and, and hopefully just match his speed. That's the ultimate goal. I don't know how far or what he's made progress-wise. But I guess... I think we'll fit on this. Yeah, yeah we'll fit down here. We'll follow uh, follow his tracks right, right down, I guess. It looks like he does have a strip and it's widening on the left side. Which would be the part that he said. I mean, he went straight here, so. I mean, he's just squaring that up and whatnot. Um, yeah, there he is. Looks like he's ready, actually. He's got his pipe out. The, the belt out. Might have to put a, one of those trailers on this side. Might make it a little bit easier than having to run all the way back and forth. Now, I can run over the tops of these uh, potatoes because it is just tops. And what we're really after is what's underneath. And potatoes are uh, that root crop, so... He's going to unload into me. Going to space it out a little, spread it out. Not putting all our weight in one area. He's full. And I'm full now. Okay. Uh, with that being said, we're gonna go right here. Is this the end of the field, it looks like, and flip around? We'll just run the end of this field where, uh, it's not planted. It's plowed, it's not planted, though. So we're gonna keep doing this. It's a large field. 
But we do have two harvesters going, so uh, probably the slowest part of this is going to be me keeping up with both of them, um, two and one. Probably not a horrible idea that we brought that second truck down, but we do have a little bit of a haul to uh, bring that stuff back up. I do, uh, Joey is here. He's the one that was doing that tillage. Um, or excuse me, Blake. Joey's on the harvester. Blake was uh, here, the one doing that tillage down um, by the house the other day. So he is here. He can. He's doing some maintenance uh, on some equipment up on the the uh, teeth and whatnot that he was pulling in the discs. He's doing some maintenance on that, making sure that's all good uh, and ready to go because it wasn't done since last year. But if we do need an extra truck driver or a cart operator or whatever, um, we can bring him in too. He's, he's floating around, so that's always a possibility. Get a, a four sec, fourth set of hands. Won't be too bad, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go unload this. Might be worth putting the trucks right on the street there. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll put the trucks, we'll line them right on the street. Save us from having to drive all the way back uh, across this pasture area. No? Okay, while we're pulling up. Oh. There we go. <clears throat> While we're pulling up here, we're going to open that. Should be able to clear everything without a problem. Oh, we'll turn that on and we'll unload her. All those potatoes. Looking nice. So yeah, we're going to... I'm going to move these trucks over. I, I've decided I'm going to move these trucks over to the side of the road. I think it's going to work a little bit better in the long run for us. Um, save a lot of time. So we're going to do that. This should be about empty here. Yep, there we go. So this should be about empty. I'm going to move the trucks over and we're going to continue running all day. All day, every day. Not every day, just probably today and I'm guessing tomorrow as well. So yeah, that's the that's the goal, and we're gonna we're gonna keep going. We're making tons of progress here. We uh, are about halfway through this field. It's only lunchtime right now, but we're we're making real good progress. You can see uh, two of the harvesters there, and I say two because there's actually a third one down here. So while we were continuing to harvest, the co-op actually brought down their third harvester so that we could go a little bit faster and get some more acreage knocked out you can actually uh it should the other one should just be up over this hill here um but they got uh they got a good majority of this knocked down there's just those two little strips um that they got left plus some little cleanup they gotta do on the ends and whatnot um but there yep there's the third one right there they're making good progress um and whatnot so that's good now what i'm gonna do is i'm probably actually gonna wait here um once uh once uh they're done with this strip right here not the full thing just this next strip um i'm gonna have uh joey who's i believe in that one um switch over and hit up these end rows here because we actually have the uh um blake brought down the uh the digger so that we can start tilling this so that we can get ahead because we actually got a couple other fields i was out looking uh, while running some uh, some of the potatoes back and forth, I was actually running, and I saw that uh, um, we have some uh, the, the the giant field actually right over here. The Stroham is is full and ready to go. So, uh, or excuse me, fully grown and pretty much ready to go to harvest. So, um, we're gonna need to kind of transition. Plus, we still got a whole other field of potatoes to do. So, uh, we got a lot of work. Um, ahead of us yet so i'm gonna go continue unloading these guys like i said transfer him uh over and get these end rows there's the the digger there and you can actually see the co-op brought it down a couple of their service trucks what they're going to do once they're done with this field they're going to uh 
essentially go through and you know make sure all of the their harvesters are all set and ready to go um because i'm not sure if we're gonna jump over and do uh 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 the stroham or if we're gonna go up north and do that other field of potatoes yet uh it's really kind of dependent they do have some promises of where these harvesters have to go still so it's really kind of dependent on what they need um and when where they gotta go so if they can get them turned over quick enough and you know we can go up north we're probably just gonna do that and stick on potatoes for the next day or two and get that taken care of it's actually like i said this is going pretty fast this is uh about a 75 80 90 acres somewhere in that range um and like i said it's only new and we got well over half of it done so we're making good progress um but we're gonna keep going and uh do start doing some tillage as well uh around these guys so that we can uh we can keep going and, and make a lot of progress quicker and uh luckily joey actually came out he's been running trucks with me so we kind of been you know with the three harvesters it's been a little bit more challenging but we're we've been sticking on it so i'm gonna actually fill up here um excuse me blake has been doing that uh, i'm gonna fill up here with joey and get that covered and then uh just fill this uh this cart up that way keep him on the move and i got a full cart so we're gonna keep doing this for a while and hopefully get this done today we're making great progress this was truckload number 12 that i just dropped off now i didn't uh actually talk to you guys about this but they brought uh the co-op actually installed two uh, of these root crop sheds for us um they're temporary we don't own them we're just renting them but they install them that way we could store as much as we could and then uh obviously we'll be able to sell it over the winter and, and whatnot as we go on or, or as we need the funding, so on and so forth. But that was truckload number 12. Now we do have a couple issues. The first is we are down one of the potato harvesters. Um, I, I have no idea what happened, but the co-op said something in the, uh, the actual header broke. So that is unfortunately done and out, which means, um, we only got two harvesters running, which is actually probably a little bit better because uh, we uh, we can keep up a little bit easier. So, unfortunately, what that means is that um, we only got two harvesters. Now, luckily, the harvester, it was the harvester that Joey was running that went down. So, luckily, um, the third harvester that the co-op had brought that the co-ops, uh, one of the, the co-op employees was running, that employee actually went and is helping them hopefully trying to fix that in the field without having to take it back to their shop and fix it there. So Joey just kind of trades spots with him and hopped in. So we do have both of our guys, um, Joey and Dave running the harvesters. So they're still going good. The co-op's trying to fix that one. Um, but I can't really complain. I mean, it's, it's just shy of one o'clock now. It's like 1250. Uh, and we got 12 truckloads done and we're actually making real good progress. We haven't started tilling yet um, because, again, we had that issue happen, so we had to figure out, okay, we're going to pull this one out. I've been running trucks, so uh, we've been staying busy, <laughs> but that's all right. We got uh, we got nothing but time, so we're going to come back and load up truck number 13 and potentially 14 and 15, so on and so forth. So we're going to go do that and... Hopefully get this. I, I have a good feeling we'll get this field done today and probably even start some tillage on it, which will be awesome. And uh, probably get these harvesters as well moved up to the other field. Uh, while Joey and Dave are here, I'll just have them drive them up there um, and I'll pick them up. So, yeah, should be uh, should be a good, pro you know, good productive rest of the afternoon here. And I'm excited. I, I'm and you can see just as much just how much we've gotten done. So actually looks like he's ready for a pickup anyway so perfect time and just get back but all right continue on the grind all right while continuing to run <laughs> uh potatoes here back and forth the trucks i just got a call from blake who's been running trucks with me uh he said that both of our storage bins up at the farm uh are full like 
overflowing, can't fit any more in there. So what's going to happen is the co-op's actually going to take these, uh, take the rest of these, and we're just going to sell them off now uh, rather than later. So uh, we're at, it's actually about the same distance from here to uh, where, you know, our farm to from here to the co-op. It's about the same distance. A little bit farther to go to the co-op, but... Um, a little bit easier because it's all it's it's one road instead of having to make a couple turns so with that being said the co-op's just going to take all these so he's going to run down he's got like half a truckload left in his which is going to set us back a little um because he won't be coming right back left we'll to basically pass us and go down and then come back but he's going to run that half a truckload uh there and then i'm going to probably end up having a truckload full to go myself by the time he gets back uh here so little little hitch in our system but it'll be all right we'll, we're just gonna sell these off and it's essentially what we're pulling out here is probably gonna pay for all the payroll and most of the fuel anyways so um that we've used in this harvest and we'll use in probably tillage so that, that'll be all right we'll, we'll get a little bit of income uh right away but not our intended goal but it works so we're gonna keep going we're, we're getting real close real real close and they're still working on that other machine over there so i don't foresee that coming up uh coming back online at least during this field probably for the other field we'll see what they uh they come up with but they're they've been looking at that header for quite some time so i don't foresee that coming back in service for us but that'll be all right we're, we're doing just fine making good progress we're getting super close to uh, finishing this harvest here uh, on this field. Uh, they got the actually the second of three machines is done uh, and it's parked over there. You can kind of see it. Um, so we got two machines done. The uh, third machine that uh, Dave is running, or excuse me, Joey's running. He, I forgot he was over here. The Joey's running right there. Uh, he's on the last strip. Now, he is almost full, so we're probably going to have to go pick him up before he can finish it, unfortunately. Uh, but we're getting some uh, some work done ourselves, kind of on the downtime. Dropping that second machine actually gave us a lot of downtime between, like, filling up uh, um, carts and whatnot, which was great. So we've been able to kind of get some uh, cultivating done. We got pretty much uh, everywhere on the other side of where Joey is done. Kind of just up close to him. Uh, we weren't able to get to, and that's all right. We'll have to go through anyways and get where he was. So just wait, and, and we'll get that done. Not worried about it. Um, so we kind of started cultivating a little over here. And just getting what we can done, you know, that's all. Oh, let's uh, let's take a little back up here. There we go. And now we can continue around this island. We're gonna go all the way around this island just to get it done. At least close to it. And then by the time we get all the way around, we'll be able to pick up and uh, run back up to the uh, the, uh, the cart we've been using. Now, what I think is going to happen here, because we do have that other field of potatoes to pick up to harvest, what I think is going to happen is um, the co-op is going to take a look at the harvesters. Obviously, they had the one break that they've been trying to fix all day. Well, half the day, I should say. Um... So there, we're, we're down that one, which is all right. We didn't even plan on having three to begin with, so that's good that we're still got two. Um, but they're going to look at the other uh, two that we... Well, one of them is the one they brought, and this, the other one's the one that we had already. They're going to take a look at those and make sure they're good to go and ready to continue harvesting. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to keep those... Um, and go do that other field that's north of us here up by the farm. And that is thankfully a smaller field than this. So it shouldn't take as long. 
Um, but by the time we move everything up there, I don't think we're going to have time today. It's already 3.30. So by the time we get uh, kind of things figured out here, what the game plan is, get the rest of this to the co-op, um, we're, we're going to have not a lot of time left. So we'll probably just finish doing some cultivating here with the digger, get some stuff moved and probably call it good for the day there. Um, because in the end of the day, there's the, there's the end. Uh, in the end of the day, if it takes us one more day, then that's fine. We're just gonna leave that unfolded. Uh, where did he end up? Oh, not too far. Looks like he does have a couple strips he's gonna have to go back and clean up. Um, if, if he even decides that that's worth it. Kind of looks like he's, uh, I guess those harvesters can take about four rows from what I've noticed at a time and kind of looks like he has some five row areas, which isn't a huge, huge deal. But we're going to go unload him for probably the last time. We do have, I'm hoping we can fit it all in this one truck. It is pretty full. It's damn near 100% full. But I'm hoping that we can fit everything uh, in in this truck. You can see how much we got done on this side here. Uh, which side's the spout on? The spout's going to be on this side. We'll just go straight. Actually, what side is my, my angle's on? This side, perfect. Yeah, we'll go straight in then. Yeah, that's looking not bad there, but that's definitely a five row area right there. So yeah, there's a couple areas that uh, he's either gonna have to swing back and get, or we're just gonna leave and probably till over. It, it, honestly, with the price of diesel right now, it might not be worth going back and getting it. There we go. I'm gonna unfold this so I can kind of see what's going on here. Hopefully we can fit it all in that truck. It'll get me like 95% full here on this, um, this cart. So pretty much if I can get this and then whatever's left, then we'll be solid. If not, we gotta take a second or another truck up there. We can, that's not a huge deal. Uh, I'm gonna actually flip around here. And probably just run beside them. Get the cruise control set. Let him get, uh, get his pipe out there. How fast he's going, like six miles an hour, it looks like. Somewhere in that range. Oh, I'm full. Okay. Well, that didn't take much. Let's see if we can't fill this all in. I'm hoping we can. I'm, I'm so hoping we can. A truck across the street there, that's an empty one. So hopefully we don't need it. The goal is going to be to try to get everything in this truck, which it's really just the front of it that's got some space. It's, it's, it's mainly, I mean, we can fill it up as much as we want. It's mainly just the weight limit. So... Oh, no, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to. That's a bummer. We'll have to take, uh, we'll have to take two trucks. But we'll come get the, uh, the rest of this here. I'm 
don't even know if he's going to be able to flip around. No, he's not going to be able to. We'll come get the rest of this, and we'll unload it in that truck. And while he flips around, he, it, he is going to go back and get those, it looks like. So, hey, don't turn into me. Sorry, bud. Looks like he is going to flip around and go get those. So, uh, when he catches up with that, I'm going to probably run this truck down. And then we'll go from there. All right, I'm going to pull up around here with the truck. I'm not even going to fight with that uh, trailer. And I'm just going to unload right into you. There we go. And that's it. This field is done. Don't have much on board here. Only like 12,000 uh, liters. But we're going to take this up to the co-op where we've been selling the remainder that we have that we uh, weren't able to store in our the, the two root uh, crop sheds that they brought down for us and put up so um, I don't know exactly what's going to happen with that other field of potatoes now that both of those storage sheds are full we might sell them I, I, I honestly don't know um, but I guess anything can happen at this point. I'm not really sure. So I'm going to run this down to uh, the co-op, get it sold, and then probably take it right back to the, right back to the house to get a nice wash. They, they both need a wash before we uh, continue on because we're going to be right, working kind of right out, of the, uh, right out of the farm for the next field that we're going to do, which is actually that one right there. We're just pulling into the co-op now, and I want to kind of show you how I how we've been doing this, and also kind of give you a rundown too. On I, because in full transparency, I, I want to be honest here. So we just pull up, we drop it right here, and they take it in. So um, it's it's pretty pretty much that easy. And with that being said, we're all set. Now we can just. Uh, back up out of here do a little bit of a u-turn and while we're kind of heading back real quick I'll kind of kind of give the rundown here of like what what happened so I, I don't know the numbers right now I'll, I'll put them on the uh, screen kind of how we did but overall um, we did make probably most uh, well, we probably made all, if not a little bit more, of our money back on that. Granted, we have yet to pay, um, like, the rental fees to the co-op for um, using the harvesters for this field and the next field, as well as, obviously, their guy came down. Now, we didn't tell him to do that, so I, I'm hoping we don't have to pay for rent on that. We'll see. Um, but I'll kind of put all those numbers up here in, uh, in kind of post and... You'll be able to see where we're standing. You know, you got to remember too, the numbers are skewed because we still have three quarters of the field uh, stored. We didn't sell it, so um, we got plenty stored up. So even the numbers you see here, uh, it's going to be nowhere close. I'm assuming um, to kind of where we're at with labor costs and maintenance and fuel. But uh, in the end of the day. You got to remember that we have all that other stuff sword. Okay, we made it back to the field. I just checked in with the co-op guys. Um, they figured out that I can kind of show you here. The issue with this harvester, they originally thought it was a, you know, a header issue. So what happens is um, this front section takes the top off the plants where all these leaves and whatnot come from. Uh, takes the top off the plant. And then it shoots out this backside here. And then these uh, kind of fingers and, and sets of discs actually pull the uh, potato out of the ground. Uh, and then obviously it goes up into the conveyor belt system and goes up into the rest of the machine here and gets sorted. And and uh, the, the rest of the leaves and, and sticks and stems and all that get taken off and come out the side. So they originally thought it was an issue with the fingers because it was skipping a specific row. What had actually happened was 
the conveyor belt system up here backed up and essentially there's a I guess a rod or something in here uh, yeah down down one of these yellow things uh, that actually bunched up and what it was doing is it was it was pushing against um, a specific part of the conveyor belt and it actually bent it so every time that that conveyor belt went under this roller you can see the the, the roller kind of runs along there it would push it up and it would miss three four plants and then it would push it back down when it got to a flat part so essentially what they're going to have to do is replace this entire um lower section of conveyor belt on this side over here so it's going to be a little bit of a you know a little bit of a time delay getting this machine up uh, because they essentially have to take this entire front section off and then they can do it uh, but that was the issue with that so they're kind of working on that uh, the other two they're going to go through like i said earlier and just make sure they're good and make sure there's no issues like this um and, and you know make sure that they're ready to go for either us to use it on the next field which is kind of up the road uh, by the farm or for them to go and give it to another individual another farm to use before it comes back to us but in the meantime, we have to finish cultivating this field as well as we got to get some equipment, specifically the truck and the uh, uh, 8R plus the trailer back to our... Sh well, the trailer's actually probably going to stay here with them. Uh, I'll have to talk to them about that because if we're not going to use it, obviously the next group's going to need that trailer, so we shouldn't take it up. But I don't want to have to come back and get it, so I'll have to talk with them before that. But at least the truck's got to go up back to the shop and it's like four o'clock right now so i'm gonna hop on the cultivator for a little while get as much as i can done probably till spend another couple hours out here doing that and then when i'm done uh, i'll probably leave that here so that i can finish up like these end rows and whatnot where they have their stuff parked i'm not in a huge hurry uh we don't need that right now anywhere else so i'll just leave that there and then i'll hop in the the semi and bring that back up uh and get that home so yeah, uh, a lot of work done and a lot to go. So we're going to hop in the cultivator for a little while. Like I said, a couple more hours, get some stuff done and probably call it a day. And just like that, we're coming to an end here. Actually, about an hour earlier than I thought we were going to be. Uh, it's only 5 o'clock right now. And we're coming to the end of cultivating this field. This is it. Which is amazing. Uh, I got one little section to do up where the harvesters are currently sitting. Um, but I'm going to have to move those anyway. So we're going to go ahead and fold up here. and make our way up there i mean that was i can't complain too much considering we're an hour earlier than i thought we were gonna be which is amazing uh it gives me a little extra time to actually move those harvesters and cultivate through where i need to there and then uh get the truck back to the shop and get those nice and cleaned up and washed up I wonder if they're actually still up there working on those. It is 5 o'clock, so I know that's kind of their quitting time. So I might be able to catch them before they leave and see what their plan is with that um, cart. If they want us to bring that back to the shop or what they want to do. I don't know if they're going to need that or not. It might come down to the point where we bring it back to the shop and if they need it somewhere else, they just pick it up from there. That might be the uh, the strategy. That way we get our tractor and we'll wash it up for them. You know, make it nice and clean. I'm sure they're probably going to want to go through it. You know, all that fun stuff. So, can't really tell. Looks like their trucks are still sitting up there. So, I think we caught them just before they're going to leave. So, I'm going to talk with them. Get that, like I said, get the little section that those three harvesters are sitting on cultivated. 
figure out what they want to do with the tractor. Well, not the tractor, but the, the trailer. And then get the truck back to the shop so we can wash them up and probably call it a day. Because we've been busy and I'm getting tired and it's dinner time. So let me do that real quick before they head out. And uh, we'll go from there. Well, I made it back with both trucks. The other one's sitting over there. We're going to give them a nice power wash here. Um, so I did finish up uh, that little, little, little section of uh, cultivating there where the harvesters were sitting. Um, they said that uh, we we can bring the tractor and the cart back here. Just leave it here. Um, they don't believe they're going to be shipping them out to someone else. They believe they're going to they keep the harvesters once they get them where they want them. They're going to be able to keep them with us while we do this other field. Which will be nice, so there's no sense in, uh, you know, messing around and, and transporting a cart somewhere to bring it back and so on and so forth. So, um, they said just bring it here and whatnot and, and we could deal with it here. So, what's going to happen is um, I'm going to wash these up uh, and then uh, Blake is going to take me and Dave down to the field. We're going to grab the, one of us is going to grab the cultivator. The other is going to grab that uh, cart and the ART, and then uh, Blake's going to obviously just drive us with the pickup so he can drive that back. Um, and we're going to get both of those back here, ready to go for the next thing, uh, which will be coming up. Uh, we're going to have to get the combines out with the bean heart. Uh, yeah, the, the draper headers, the bean headers. Um, and from what Lake was telling me, I know for a fact this giant field behind us here at uh, uh, Shroham is ready to go. From what he's telling me is there's that field of uh, soy across the street that's also ready to go. So we're going to crank both of those out um, and, and just go from there and, and maybe see if any of the other fields are ready. I think I got one just to the west of us that might uh, be pretty close, so... We got a lot, uh, a lot of work ahead of us. Um, that sunflower field that's up north of the potato and sugar beet fields ready. We're going to be ready within the next couple days. Um, just kind of depending on if we get uh, a little bit of rain, a little bit more rain for that. Um, that should be ready. So we we got a lot of work. We're kind of in the heart of things now, and. Uh, you know it's it's game time it's that's about it it's game time so we need all hands on deck all you know, all the tractors back here we're gonna hook both of uh both of our monster beasts up to uh grain carts with both harvesters running and we're just it's gonna be a 24 7 operation to get this this stuff out of the ground now um before it does start to rain too much and we kind of get locked out of the fields you know now, luckily, we're on a hill here, which makes it a little bit nicer for us, but you never know. So, uh, I'm going to park this truck. Blake's going to run us down to pick those uh, those uh, tractors and uh, implements up and tools, and we're going to get ready. We might do a little bit of a yard work just getting some of that, uh, some of that stuff ready to go. Uh, because I think tomorrow morning we're going to hit the ground running if we can. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go pick those up. Uh, let me actually shut this door. I don't know why it got opened. And you can see both of our cellars are completely full, uh, which is good, I guess. Um, that's money just sitting there. But, yeah, we're going to go pick those up and uh, get them back here and get them ready to change over and, and do other things. Okay, we just finished washing up uh, this bad boy. We put the digger... We, I was going to put it in the shed, and then I'm like, well, we're going to need it here shortly. So, you know, once we start getting these fields, we're going to need it again. So I didn't even wash it. I just parked it right next to the, uh, the trailer that we're going to be storing for a little while. Now, the goal tomorrow is to focus on uh, some of the fields... You know the the cash crop like corn uh sunflower that type of stuff um so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna hook both of these mahimas i call them 
uh, up to our grain carts. Now, we do have two grain carts. Uh, we're going to hook them both up to the uh, uh, 9620 RXs here. Um, they're going to be able to pull them just fine. Be, be just fine. I'll keep up with both of our combines. We probably won't need both of them, but if we decide to split crews, um, one combine, one place, and another, another, we're going to need, you know, it's, we got two trucks, we got two of everything, so we'll be good there. Um, so we're going to hook them up. These these uh, Demco grain carts are huge, so they can hold a lot. So um, one might be fine for now. Again, we'll see once kind of that time comes. Uh, but we're going to hook them up to the 9620s here and uh, get them kind of staged and ready to go. We haven't made the decision um, yet whether to... We got one or two fields just to kind of knock out of, um, you know, crop that we, you know, sunflower or corn that we need the uh, um, chopping headers for. Uh, let me turn this off, actually. So we haven't made the decision if we're just going to knock those out yet or if we're going to jump right into, you know, soy and that type of stuff. It, it's kind of like catch 22 it's like damned if you do damned if you don't type of deal um so we'll see uh, it's just it's a matter of time to figure that out at this point uh we'll know by the end of the night because tomorrow morning we're gonna get cranking um so i'm gonna hook these up i'm also going to uh pull the um and we can leave the harvesters in there for the night um but what i'm gonna do is I'm going to hook this up, and then I'm going to actually take the uh, the set of discs that's on the back of that uh, uh, tractor in there, and take those off, put them away, and grab the bigger set of discs. So we plan on running two sets of discs as well, um, hopefully to kind of get ahead of tillage for the fall while we're at it. So we'll uh, we'll cross that bridge. So I'm going to hook. Uh, at least get that taken off. I might not hook it up tonight, but at least get it taken off and figure out kind of where we're going to go starting tomorrow on uh, on crop, whether it be right here in the backyard or kind of across the street and up the road with um, some of the other corn and, and sunflower. But we'll make that decision here shortly. But with that being said, uh, I'm going to take care of this and go from there. Okay, a little bit of a change of plans. Uh, we were, like I said earlier, we were originally going to take the uh, speed tiller off the 9570RT here and put one of the other sets of discs on. We decided that we're going to leave this on. Uh, essentially, what's going to happen is we got to go through these baskets. Um, there's two that need new bushings. I can't remember. I think it's one of these center ones and that end one down there. They need new bushings in there, so we're going to do that tonight while well, we got a little bit of time we got the bushings they're sitting over there on the uh, part shelf uh, we got the bushings, so we're gonna do that tonight while we got some time um so that we're ready to go tomorrow because once we start harvesting it's just gonna be uh, that's kind of the, the mindset we're gonna be in this doesn't matter at all and then once we're done harvesting we're gonna need this so we figured we'll just spend the extra hour or two tonight run a little bit later than we normally do and Get that knocked out get that ready to go and just so it's perfect and when we need it it's ready we don't have to wait for it right we got the bushings and all that that's good um we've decided that we're gonna go tomorrow uh up we're gonna split in two crews to start we're gonna go up the road to the west and there's a field of corn up there that is ready to go we're gonna take that out with one harvester and then we're gonna send another harvester and grain cart and truck actually to the east and we're gonna go and start knocking out that um, sunflower field now the cornfield is about a fifth of the size of the sunflower field so that shouldn't take as long it should only take an hour or so to knock out um, so once they're done they're gonna transfer over and help get that cornfield out or excuse me that sunflower field out because once we're done with that we're done with the the um, chopping headers the cutting headers um they can go right back and and we can just full speed ahead on soy canola and trohan and everything else we got so 
they're gonna that's the game plan starting tomorrow uh is we're just gonna take the chopping headers again we're gonna split in two crews um myself and blake are gonna go to the west and take care of that um and you know deal with that cornfield just to get it knocked out of the way then once we're done uh we'll go meet up with uh joey and dave to the east at that sunflower field get that knocked out and hopefully by tomorrow we can get both of those knocked out come back switch uh switch over uh the combines for soy because we have a field directly across the road we're gonna start at and knock that out that's got soy in it so lots of work to do uh lots of things planned um i'm gonna go shut this knowing my luck we'll get some win tonight and destroy the one thing we need tomorrow um but anywho we're gonna go take care of that uh those bushings tonight get that out of the way get that done uh everything else is pretty much ready i mean combines are fueled up they're ready to go i uh, chucked that earlier these guys are hooked up ready to go the trucks are ready to go they've been cleaned and you know you know there's no remnants of potatoes left in them so we're gonna shut the doors here and get to work on these bushings and uh other than that it's probably where i'm gonna end the video for today uh if you liked it make sure to hit that like button subscribe and uh leave me a comment uh on how you're liking these i'm i'm getting used to this whole farming thing so it's it's a lot of fun uh i'm enjoying it and you know there's some great guys working here and i couldn't have done uh, what we did today without them trust me but uh oh, i'm gonna turn the beacons off in here but yeah, uh, with that being said, thank you all for tuning in, and uh, we'll catch you tomorrow.